Mineral Resources Minister Gwede Mantashe is currently visiting the unused mine in Free State where 31 suspected illegal miners died after a methane gas explosion. It's understood the mine was abandoned 30 years ago by its owner, Harmon Gold, and the deceased are believed to be Basotho nationals. Well, and retrieving of their bodies has been stalled now due to safety concerns. Our ENCA senior reporter, Avi Umtila, joins us live now from the mine in Virginia. And good morning to you, Avi. Where, I mean, what can you tell us about this? Uh, a visit uh, by Gwede Mantashe, the Minister of Mineral Resources. Good morning, Dumelo, and the Minister is actually at the headquarters of Harmony here, where he's currently being briefed inside, we understand, by the Chief Operating Officer, uh, just, of course, on this tragic incident that has happened. Uh, we do know that, of course, uh, it's suspected that there's at least 31 um, illegal miners that are still uh, in the mine shaft itself, Shaft 5 in Virginia, where this tragedy happened. Uh, the Department of Mineral Resources received information uh, from the uh, International Relations uh, Ministry of Lesotho, as you understand that it's suspected that these people are from Basotho, uh, the Basotho nationals themselves. So they received this uh, communique which suggests that on the 18th uh, of May, that's last month, is when this tragedy happened where these miners passed away. The details are a bit sketchy at this stage we do know of course there's no official confirmation just on how many people are underneath there because all of this information is coming itself from uh, what is suspected to be illegal miners they alerted their government in Lesotho and then the Lesotho government itself then alerted the South African government we will be moving then uh, from the headquarters here some 20 minutes or, uh, or so is where the shop 5 itself is and that's where of course uh, we'll see um, I get a better idea of exactly what happened. We understand at this stage it is still cordon off as of course we understand that they passed away, succumbed um, to methane itself. So it's still highly toxic uh, at this stage and it's these rescue efforts that are a bit tricky at this stage as no one can actually access the mine uh, currently because of the high levels of methane that are still uh, inside there. But of course we'll be taking you uh, with us when we then eventually see the minister and I think there's a bit of movement actually by the door now. Not sure if uh, the minister himself will be emerging as we have been told that we'll be given a photo opportunity just to see what's happening inside. We understand the minister is being briefed by the chief operating officer as well as the security team here. We do understand the mine itself was highly cordoned off, but it doesn't seem like there was uh, visible security themselves there. Hence, then, uh, these illegal miners uh, could actually go inside. In fact, it seems like we've been called uh, inside. I'm not sure if we'll be allowed to cross live there, but we'll just be moving in closer now with my colleague, uh, Mohamed Zistuki. All right. Uh, of course, as I give you that opportunity, colleague, to make your way inside, so not to miss uh, that opportunity to perhaps uh, engage or intact or even see and hear what uh, Minister Gwede Mantashe has to say. Uh, we understand at this point uh, that it's suspected that 31 illegal miners of the Basotho nationality might be, of course, uh, uh, underneath still that unused, abandoned mine, and they might have died due to methane gas explosion. Of course, the minister just uh, being briefed there by Harmony Gold and uh, will be, of course, giving us that address. Uh, ENCS senior reporter Avi Umtila uh, will surely come back to you as soon as you are in position uh, to speak to us at the stage, colleague, as you make your way inside the room where Minister Gwede Mantashe is.